Hey everyone, I went down to the local hardware store and I got two black 25 litre totes. Now one will be for the adult breeder crickets and the other one is for the baby crickets once they hatch. Now these two black totes are really really good in regards to the right height, they're not too big, they're black, they're nice and dark and they were cheap and cost effective which is what you want with crickets. Next I got the Mikulite. Now this controls odours and keeps it nice and humid for them in there. So it's the best substrate for crickets. I also got two small jars with lids. Now what I'm going to use them for I will tell you later in the video. But in the meantime, let's get that vermiculite in. Now why do crickets love egg cartons? Well simply because it's a great fort builder and it also gives them more surface area to climb, find shade and they love the fibrous nature of the egg cartons themselves. Now back to the glass jars. First we need some cotton. Either some cotton balls, some cotton wool, whatever it is. I got these cotton pads and I tear, tore them up and place them in the bottom of the lid, the jar lid itself. I then got a mister and I misted it to keep it nice and damp and I patted it all down. Now, there's an interesting method behind the madness here. I found a new breeding technique that I got from a wildlife park actually and if it works for them, it must work for me. I was having trouble with soil. Soil seemed to dry out. Apparently what you do is you place the top of the jar or the main part of the jar over it and there's this nice perfect gap where the crickets actually just prod in and they lay their eggs into the wool itself. Now you can see I've set up two, one in each end. It keeps it nice and damp. The vermiculite and the lid will help keep everything nice and damp. And ideally, what you do is you leave it in there for seven days and we're going to have baby crickets. Now, let's get the adult crickets in there. I ended up getting about 30 crickets in total into the first breeder bin. Now, I think 30 should be enough. I know that my North American friends and counterparts love to buy thousands of crickets and put them in a bin, but I'm going to try 30. This is going to be a perfect experiment for me. Now you're probably going to wonder, what do we feed crickets? Well, I've got an apple tree next door and fruit is perfect. Luckily, I have full access to the apple tree next door, so I'm going to cut two small slices. I'm going to put it in. Now, this will keep the crickets hydrated. It'll give them some food, some nutrition, and it'll keep the colony nice and happy. Make sure that you always change the slices out every one to two days and keep a close eye on any rotting fruit. As you can see, I already had a cricket uh, very, very curious about the new jar contraption. But otherwise, guys, I hope you like this. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.